especially in a time right now when you can bet on games. You feel me? If they was doing this back in the days when betting was illegal, imagine what they doing now. Welcome to the Mark West Sports Podcast. So, all right, so let's get it started. It's the Mark West Sports Podcast. I'm Marcus Benjamin. He's Wesley Pierre. We give you that real sports talk from a Miami fan's perspective. And unfortunately, this is one of the saddest weeks because our Miami Heat bowed out of the NBA playoffs with a heartbreaking loss on Sunday night to the Boston Leprechauns. And it was a frustrating game to watch, to be honest, as a Heat fan, because we was down for the entire game. You felt like we shouldn't be down as much. We should be scoring more. How come we're not hitting no threes? And the other question for me is like, why is Duncan ain't in there? Can we get Duncan for at least 10 minutes and see if he can get hot? And it, it never happened. And it got to the final minutes. And we was down by like 12, 13 or something like that. And then we started to make a furious comeback at the end of this game. It came down to our boy, Jimmy Buckets, with no timeouts left. And that was a gaffe too, the fact that we had no timeouts. Because if we had the ball, we would surely would have called a timeout and we would have drew up something and it wouldn't have been such a spontaneous type of play. Jimmy Butler had a wide open three, took it and missed it and ultimately that sealed you know the heat's fate but but just like in the moment I wasn't mad at the shot because he was wide open and he hit a three just like that earlier in the game where he was just dribbling up nobody was guarding him he shot it and he made it so this wasn't one of those games like last year uh, against Milwaukee where Jimmy was shooting way too many threes This wasn't those type of games where where you were frustrated at him taking the three. So I wasn't mad at him taking the three because if he made it, then he's a hero, obviously, and forever, you know, uh, embedded in in heat history and in Miami sports history, period, if he makes that shot. But unfortunately, he didn't, and we suffer a four-point loss. But there's a lot of other things to really kind of talk about with this with this mm-hmm. game. The, the refs, cheating. we got to talk about the refs first Tim off. Donahue. Because, yeah, because first off, man, like that play where they call Max Struess foot on the line is a garbage play. Because when it happened at first, I was like, what? They just took three points away. And this was like three, four plays later, they went and reviewed something. And then you go and review the video and it's like, it's so close. It's not like it's obvious, you know what I'm saying? That his foot was on, on the heel. Maybe it grazed it, maybe it didn't. When I it first seen it, it, when it first did, when it first grazed, and when I first um, showed the video, I thought he, he his heel hit, hit the back of the line. But then they kept showing it and I was like, mm, I don't know. Either way, it's like some people think he did, some people think he didn't. So why? Would you go back and change the call because it needs to be indisputable that that was the case? So, so that that is definitely something that made me mad about this game. I felt like we left we left a lot of points, um, you know, off the scoreboard, and I'm I'm left thinking what could be. What was your thoughts, Wes? Me like I couldn't sleep. Had the bubble guts all night. Look, wake <laughs> up, see it's like 30 minutes, some elapsed from my sleep. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a good sleeper, you feel me? Especially, my, um, you know, I had a lick in my system. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I was assuming that we were going to win. So, you know, I was already swizzy before okay. I fell asleep. You feel me? I was swizzy, had my late night dinner, a later dinner than normal, you know? And... Um, after that loss, it just took everything out of me. It's like I was sober all over again. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you know, seeing him take that shot, I didn't like the shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't like the shot because I was like, yo, um, in Miami, 
Jimmy Butler in certain places on, on players, they normally get the three point play the hard way, meaning drive to the basket and um, draw a foul. We know Jimmy Butler normally always make his um, shot. He normally always make his shot in the free throw line. So um, it would have been understand uh, understandable if he would have actually drove to the free throw line, especially after we got that momentum. You know what I'm saying? We got that momentum. You could have tied the game. You feel what I'm saying? And um, we could have we could have probably took it to overtime. But I kind of feel where you talking about we had no timeouts. Um, you know, everybody was hobbling. You know, couldn't draw up no um, no play because we didn't have no timeouts. I mean, you had PJ Tucker. He had no points in the game. I mean, um, what's his name? Um, Kyle Lowry, the, the one that me and Marcus didn't even want to be on the Heat, actually was a detriment to the Heat every time he actually stepped on the court after he got that injury, that hamstring injury. Um, that particular game, there was like three, four plays he turned over the ball in a row. Three, three or four plays in a row he turned over the ball. He uh, shot the, the ball. At he, the same time, though, Kyle Lowry, I, I think if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be in the game late. We wouldn't even be in the game, like in my opinion, because he I guess drew, drew a lot of fouls. He turned, he he caused some turnovers. I don't think he, we would even be in the game if it was Kyle. See, Lyon. but my whole thing is, yeah, he wouldn't be in, and we probably wouldn't be in the game. But I'm just going on what I actually seen, and what I seen was uh, 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 somebody that I didn't want on the Heat from jump. You feel me? It just basically validated my point. You know what I mean? Like, why are you paying this guy all this money? Um, trust me, like I'm loyal to everybody that plays for the Miami Heat, but that particular game, um, he, he didn't show out, you know, he, he basically, um, helped them build that lead that they had on us in the first place. I mean, four turnovers in a row, and then you got Boston scoring every turnover. That's already eight points. And let me just say they scored two threes during those turnovers that he made that's 10 points you know what i'm saying so this lead that they actually got was kind of on him and also when he was shooting the ball he was missing the ball as well and i'm like damn man you feel what i'm saying like where are we gonna get these points for from tyler heroes he's injured you know seen him for seven minutes then you back on the bench i'm like me and marcus we already know like growing injury like it's already tough for NFL players. Imagine NBA players that have to run back and forth every, all the seconds through the game. At least in the NFL, you you probably play offense or defense and you're not playing every snap like right. certain players. But, you know, it just made me feel some type of way. Bam did his thing. Um, you know, Jimmy Butler did his thing. Um, I didn't understand why Spo didn't try to put your seven in the game because that's a seven footer. You know what I'm saying? He could shoot threes. He could get rebounds. I didn't, I didn't see Deadman in that game or the previous game. Both yeah. of them could shoot threes. Both of them are centers. Um, it just it just was re weird all around. Again, like I said, man, this game is rigged. You feel what I'm saying? Tim Tonegi, he already said it. He already said it for the longest. Me, if I was a player, I would have been calling these referees Tim. Donahue, Donahue. I would have been, that's what I've been saying. And I know they would have been picking it up, but of, of course, I'm not, I'm saying that in the game. I'm not saying that when I'm on the podium, so you can't find me. I'm not saying the cuss word, but of course, they're probably going to find me anyway, because I'm bringing that negative light back onto the NBA, especially in a time right now when you can bet on games. You feel I me? Mean? If they were doing this back in the days when betting was illegal, imagine what they're doing now. You feel what I'm saying? That's why all these fake files, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it just it just made me so mad, you feel what I'm saying? That 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 